I, Robot 2. The aftermath of the infamous Oscar slap parted to Chris Rock by Will Smith is that the latter is losing big time in his career. Aside from being banned from attending any Academy Awards ceremonies for the next 10 years, reports suggest that Will Smith is seeking therapy and many contracts signed for movies and other commercial projects have been cancelled too. But is it an end for Will Smith's career or is there still hope for him to emerge like a phoenix? We believe that an I, Robot 2 movie might just be what Will Smith needs to skyrocket his career again. A formula that works. Will Smith has been a great actor and nominated many times for Oscars and Academy Awards. He has played some remarkable roles in his super hits like King Richard, Men in Black, The Pursuit of Happiness, Ollie, Spies in Disguise, Enemy of the State, Hitch, and many others. One of his best and biggest hits, however, was 2004 Seconds I, Robot. I, Robot premiered in the United States on July 16, 2004. The film, which cost $120 million to produce, grossed $346 million globally but received mixed reviews. It was praised for its breathtaking visuals and performances but criticized for its story. But that's something that could be fixed with I, Robot 2, right? It is clear from the success graph of the movie that a sequel to the blockbuster might just be what Will Smith needs to bounce back. Smith followed a formula he and his manager established based on the most popular films while his cinematic career was taking off. They all have certain elements, such as special effects, monsters, a strong hero and a love tale. Many of his biggest successes, like I, Robot, included these elements. The sequel, writer and producer Ronald Moore stated in an interview in 2007 that he was writing a sequel to I, Robot. Unfortunately, since that interview, I, Robot 2 has not been mentioned for more than a decade. However, considering that the 53-year-old is finally working on an I Am Legend sequel, there is hope that he might return to the Del Spooner character one more time. And hopefully, he'll be joined by Bridget Moynihan as Susan Calvin, Alan Tudyk as Sonny, and Kai McBride as LT, John Burgeon. For those who don't remember, I, Robot tells the story of homicide detective Del Spooner and his initial mistrust of a new robot partner named Sonny. The main conflict facing the duo is that Del Spooner dislikes robots, while Sonny is programmed to protect all humans. Together they discover a huge conspiracy that involves the fate of both humans and robots. Is Will Smith going to have the world from another potential robot apocalypse in I, Robot 2? Will Smith made the transition from TV's Fresh Prince of Bel-Air to movies with Bad Boys and while he's had his flops over the years, he's one of the few remaining movie stars. When his film career was taking off, Smith followed a certain formula he and his manager devised based off the most successful films of all time. They all included certain ingredients like special effects, monsters or a love story, so many of his biggest films like Men in Black featured such ingredients. This formula isn't always a surefire path to success, like Wild West or After Earth Proof. It certainly worked out in the case of 2004's I, Robot, where Smith played a detective investigating a murder seemingly committed by a robot, which should be impossible, given their programming. The movie was very loosely based off the work of acclaimed sci-fi writer Isaac Asimov, to the point Asimov is credited with suggesting the premise. The movie was an entertaining combination of big-budget action with occasional highbrow themes, like robots gaining sentience or the idea of free will versus control. While the ending resolved the film's premise, there was a lot left to explore in I, Robot 2, where does Sunny go from here? Will humans and robots remain in harmony? Personally, we hope that the sure shot formula to success works again for the superstar and turns the lousy limelight into an applaudable spotlight. We'd be very interested in a sequel or sequels to some of his biggest hits, including Hancock and I, Robot. After all, Will Smith's big-budget action films are what made him a huge star in the first place. Interesting facts. The first film was released in wide distribution back in 2004, but for a long time the plot of the second part was gathering dust on the screenwriter's shelf. In 2017, it became known that the shooting of the next part was planned, and Will Smith decided to put all his current work on the back burner, coming to grips with this project. But the next conversations turned out to be just rumors. The film is based on the plot of Isaac Asimov's books about positron robots. The original title of the cycle is The Three Laws of Robotics. The first part received three times more money than was spent on the budget. The participation of Will Smith alone cost the management a substantial amount. iRobot was nominated for an Oscar for Best Visual Effects but failed to win, losing to Spider-Man 2. In the 17th episode of the 23rd season of the animated series The Simpsons, the scriptwriters shot a parody of this film. The automotive company Audi developed a prototype of the car on which the detective moved in the film, based on the proposals of the film's directors. Oddly enough, critics' scores for the first film turned out to be low, and the expectation rating was at a critically low level. 
Regrettably, this hasn't stopped fans from visiting the theater multiple times. For more than 10 years, viewers have been waiting for the continuation of the exciting story about Spooner, in whose veins the blood of a real brave man flows.